Hello everybody, happy Friday. Happy Friday and welcome here at Adobe Live. Good afternoon or good morning or good evening, depending where you're watching from. Um, I'm your host, Claudie, and I've been here this week working together on the brand new and wonderful Adobe Creative Cloud Express, making standout graphics for a bakery business quickly and easily inside our browser. And of course, working together with a beautiful community here at Adobe Live. Now, if you wanna watch the replay of all this week, I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of everything that we've done so far. Don't forget that you can go ahead and join the YouTube channel and there you'll be able to watch all the replay of the videos of this week, but also so much more. There are many how-to videos, tutorials, and of course, inspirational videos uh, that will teach you how to make wonderful graphics using Adobe Creative Cloud Express. But before we move further, let me say hi in the chat and see who's already here because we are live. So I can read your comment live. Uh, Sherry, nice to see you. Uh, Sam Peterson here helping us out. Steve Festus, Andreas Oller. Ciao, Steve. Ciao, Andreas. Lovely to have you here. Sean, thank you so much for joining this stream. Beautiful to see you. Gareth. Everybody's here in the chat. And again, um, if you wish to chat inside YouTube, that's also a great place to be. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As I say, that's a great opportunity to get more um, and to learn more on how to make standout graphics. Now, let's move forward and let's jump right into my homepage because I want to show you for those of you who are joining us today for the first time, the beautiful features and the enhanced feature of this gorgeous Creative Cloud Express. Creative Cloud Express will allow you to express your idea quickly and easily. The word says it, just express it. It's so easy to use and is of course available for free both on desktop and mobile. That means that you can create all sort of graphics and just make them on the go wherever you are from your laptop or from your phone. But before moving forward, let me see if there is any question. I think everybody's just saying hello. As usual, I would love to see where you are watching from. Uh, Michelle, thank you for joining. Stacy, hi everybody. Again, happy Friday and thank you for sharing your Friday here with me. I'm super excited to, to be with you. And uh, of course, today we're going to be working on creating a menu. So it's a menu for a bakery. Use the chat <laughs> and let me know what sort of stuff are we going to put. I have a little note here of stuff that we can put in terms of cakes and breads. Uh, but, you know, we're going to have to fill a food menu. And I want to say hi to my mom because I've seen him in the chat throughout the week and I didn't have the chance to say hi. So let's, let's do this, this live properly. Ciao, mom. <laughs> Ciao, Julie. But anyway, use the chat to please um, help me out to fill this menu while I'll show you how to make it very quickly and easily. And as usual, we just have 30 minutes, but I try to show you as much as possible um, within this 30 minutes. So again, just real quick here, you have this beautiful um, animation in the website, in the main landing page to show you the thousands of beautiful templates that you can start with. Of course, there are also uh, graphic elements. We work with graphic groups, which are uh, type and images and icons. And look at the beauty of this. So much color, so much fun, and so much beautiful, bold fonts that are integrated from Adobe Font. That's exactly what I was talking about when we were talking um, uh, about groups with images and graphics. There is so much going on. The quality is, is ready and uh, let's get ready to stand out with a, a brand new menu made in Creative Cloud Express. So in order to jump in and join me and follow along, the page is express.adobe.com. That's the place where you can just jump in and start creating either from scratch or as I said, we're going to be leveraging the power of this thousand of useful and beautiful template that will allow us to make a menu quickly and easily in Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Um, Julia is in the chat. Oh, Julia, how's it going? I love that you change your um, last name everywhere. So beautiful to see you here. Um, Julia is another wonderful streamer, Adobe Live streamer. Um, and I think we started together. We have not seen each other for way too long, but it's gorgeous to have you here. Very happy to see you. I think my mommy say hi. <laughs> Lovely to see you, everybody. Uh, but again, we have um, Florida in the house. Julia, where are you right now? I've seen that you've been traveling. Let me know where you are watching from. And as I said, I'm in Manchester. I can see that we have James from Key West, Florida. 
fantastic. Let me know. And also let me know, uh, as I said, give me some ideas for this menu because I took some notes, but I want to know what you should implement and what we should implement. Now, real quick, let me show you. We started by creating a logo. Um, so we made uh, different attempts to creating a logo in order to then establish our brand identity and make sure that everything was consistent throughout. That was our day one creating a logo. As you can see, once we browse Creative Cloud Express, all our recent projects are located at the bottom of the page. Oop, it looks like um, my screen just moved, but here we go. They're located at the bottom of the page and you can access them in order to uh, edit them. So let's see, that's what we created the day after. So we went from a logo to a menu. Um, and then let's go back. And that's the beauty. You can at any point access any of these templates and then uh, change them and implement them in order to make sure that you create a consistent communication. So all you have to do is to jump off any of these graphics. That's when we created an animated uh, social media graphic. You can just simply change the text and then um, you can reuse it as many times as you want. But let's go ahead and let's start our research, our inspiration, because that's a place where also you can get beautiful inspiration thanks to the amazing templates, but also the shared libraries that will allow you to get a sneak peek on what you can make on this wonderful app. So all you have to do is to type the word menu. And as you can see right away, Adobe Creative Cloud Express will bring up many different menus. But also we have the opportunity to narrow down our research by using these very useful categories. So let me go ahead and show you here. So once we have, a, first of all, we know that we have over 800 menus, templates ready for us to use in order to make our own. But then we can narrow down between drink, food, seasonal or wedding and also topic. So again, let's try some of those. So I'm just going to go ahead and select food and you will see that right away Adobe Creative Cloud Express will narrow down and showcase all the templates that are related to food. And that's very useful because it will automatically introduce other elements like illustration. You can see behind me we have just a coffee. Or here we have some breakfast and some bread, which can be very useful or um, maybe something a little bit more illustrate illustrative. Like here we have these ornamental leaves or maybe you want to use photos. That's absolutely up to us. The options really are infinite here. Or, you know, you can have something that is more uh, related to pizza or whatever, or maybe a weekly special. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. I really love the colors and how much you can do uh, with this lovely templates. But before we get started, let me go back in the chat. Emma, Wallace, Stacy, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. And a happy, happy Friday to all. Um, Julia is in Denver. Fantastic. Right. So let's get started here and let's pick one of these beautiful menus. I like to give a little bit more of a look in here just to see. I'm just going to go ahead and select this other food in order to narrow down our research and look at this font. And by the way, you can just simply click on a menu and click on create from this template in order to start making uh, your menu, but you don't have to commit. So for example, here I was really drawn by this type which I think is very beautiful. And it looks like it's something that we can actually edit. Oh, look at that. Like I love to literally deconstruct and check what's going on. So here it looks like we had a, a main um, text, which has some geographic shape and it's called, let me go ahead and check. And I do that all the time. I literally go through templates and then I spot features that I like, and then I just take it notes and I can implement it somewhere else. So here we have these, uh, um, font that is called Asier Bat, and uh, it looks like it features some um, some geometric space, which of course are uh, transparent. We just have an outline here, and of course, it looks like the fill was hidden. And you can decide to do so anytime simply by selecting your outline and see if you want to activate it or not. And then here, let me show you these cool options. Um, you can make your text transparent. So look what happens when I select text transparent. That's when we go back to this feature when we can have our transparent menu. So here, all we have to do is maybe um, just type the word menu and then click and drag on the bounding box in order to resize our menu. And we can also take advantage of these little illustrations that were there in order to uh, apply them to our text. 
Now you can go ahead and use any other text or any other effect. I was just really drawn to this one because I think it's really cool. I love when we can uh, use uh, this template with all these amazing features. So here, all I'm left to do is to move these geometric shapes. And all I'm doing is just using the arrow inside my keyboard and then resizing them just like so. And it doesn't have to be precise. You can, again, ever play as much as you want. And look what happened here. I'm trying to get to the orange line, which is sitting currently under the text. How can you access it? If just like in this case, I'm trying to click on it, but it looks like it's just simply picking up the text. Well, that's where our lovely layers, which sit right next to me, come into play. Because all we have to do here is simply to click on the menu, on the sorry, on the layers, and you will see that the layer stack will open up, showing us the structure of our template. And here we can simply select on any element we want in order to then move it around and access have access to it. So in this case, I now selected these colors. And again, I'm going to show you in just a second also how to adapt that to make sure that it is on brand. So it will actually uh, represent the same color of our brand at the moment. I'm just trying to have a look and see if we can adapt this feature uh, for our word menu. And it looks like we're making it happen, which is very, very beautiful. I really love this this shape. Viola, lovely to see you. Nicholas, thank you so much for joining us. Annika, Garrett, lovely to see a full house on a Friday. We love to spend these beautiful weekends together here. Now, if you want to duplicate one of those shapes and you don't know how to do so, just simply select it and you will see the white bounding box. Remember yesterday we spoke about the blue bounding box. They are coming to play when we have a group. We're going to group this text in just a second once we'll be done. Uh, but otherwise, when you see a white bounding box, you are for sure that we are just selecting a single element. Then select the element that you want to duplicate from your layer or by clicking on it. In this case, I'm using the layer because I repeat it's located behind the text. So I just want to make sure that I can quickly access it and then simply use the shortcut command D or control D if you're working on a window or click on this icon in order to make a duplicate. And then again, just by using the arrows on my keyboard, I'm just moving it and locating exactly where I want it. Now, if the problem here um, is the color and want to make sure that we maintain, I probably have to do the same with this little pink item here. Uh, command D or Control D to duplicate it, and then we we'll make sure that we bring it at the right position here. Um, so once you are done with this, all we have to do is to bring back our brand color. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and select logos in order to bring the uh, the 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 branding and of course the elements of the branding. And as you can see, my primary logo is always my business logo, Print My Soul. This is not the brand that we're working on this week, but don't worry. Uh, Adobe Creative Cloud Express will allow you to retain not only multiple versions of a logo for your brand, but also will allow you to manage many brands. So let's click on design here in order to bring up all the different design aspects of our brand. And in this case, let cl let's click on the three dots in order to access the brand options. And from here, we'll be able to switch brand. Uh, just make sure to go ahead and find a brand that you've been working with. For, for us, we know that our brand is rice and bake. So here we have the logo and the colors will automatically come up. So all we have to do now, it's simply to go back into our design, uh, select. First of all, let's start from the yellow. Uh, we can perhaps use the same yellow as for our brand, or we've been working with this lovely coral, which it might be one of the color that we can retain. And maybe we can just keep it simple. And in order to uh, make it consistent for our brand, I'm just going to go ahead and change all these little elements that we've introduced consistently to the same yellow. Again, that will promote consistency and that will allow you to make sure that your brand color is communicated correctly, especially if you're working with a new business. Now, of course, here it looks like I really have to uh, tweak these a little bit more just to make it a little bit smaller so they fit. Feel free to take your time and um, literally do that per each one. And if you're wondering how to uh, fill the shape on the M, just this one over here that is tilted. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Let's go ahead and bring uh, this blue element over here and let's change it into yellow to start with. And then all I have to do is to press Command D to um, 
start by duplicating and then you can go ahead and click on this little arrow over here so remember any object can be resized by clicking and dragging on the size uh sorry on one of the corners of its bounding box but you can also move it by clicking on this other handle oh there is the handle with the little a rotating uh, icon that will allow you to then rotate it so you can literally place it in position and look what happened here once I zoom in that's the perfect way in which you can actually start uh, and move your items so looks like there I was moving the text remember uh, you can always press command Z or control Z to undo and then I'm gonna use my arrows real quick just to try and reposition it and again you might be having to spend a little moment to make sure that you find the right location and the right place, but I'm gonna let you finish that off in your own time. It's time to actually learn how to access the text. So before we get on and we start to um, type in, let me see if there is a question. Emma Soto, I was wondering, when it comes to accessibility, do you have any tips about how to get about designing a menu that could have Braille compensate for people with poor vision? Emma, I think that uh, a menu in Braille that will have perhaps Braille underneath, so you have both options, is absolutely amazing. But there are also so many uh, wonderful voice applications now that will be able to read the menu. Um, so perhaps what I will recommend, and that's uh, just an idea out of the box, is to have a QR code that can be uh, very easily scanned um, by the staff, and then the menu can just you know usually um, read itself through the phone. So that can also be an idea to place a QR code. And you can place a QR code here as an image, like you will do for any other image. I'm going to go ahead and delete this element because we're not going to use it. And I'm actually going to use that space to implement our lovely logo. So here it is. We're pretty much almost done. So we created a really cool text effect with this lovely transparency. Again, if you're wondering how to make the text transparent, remember, all we did is um, choose a template that had this very appealing font already in use. And also I went there and make sure that I took a note. It's called ACR Bat. So if you want to go ahead and use it for other projects, you will always be able to access it in any project that you want to create uh, and while you make your graphic with Creative Cloud Express. And then uh, what we've done here is to make sure that we selected outline. So we actually have an outline around your text. And then we went and choose transparent text, which I probably need to jump on the other side because otherwise you don't see that. Uh, let me go ahead and now show you again. So this is the area that I was talking about. So transparent and let me just move um, our artboard so we are sure that we see here the right word while I create the text. So again, uh, outline will allow you to create an outline around the text when transparent uh, text will make sure that the text is transparent. So we have this wonderful feature that allows us to make transparent text and yet retain the outline. Because look what happens when we turn off the outline, automatically our text will be filled and otherwise the color, um, it will just vanish, it will just be transparent. You can also change the color of your outline. You can choose uh, the yellow if you wish. It just look a bit messy. I kind of liked it with the black and I think legibility here for things like a menu, it's is very important. Right, so what we're left to do here is just to go ahead and edit the text and that couldn't be quicky, quick, quicker and easier um, by uh, using this wonderful feature here because all we have to do is simply to click on it and then use the edit text uh, on the top of our edit panel in order to just click and write whatever we want. So that could be our bagel menu if I could spell <laughs> bagel menu. Um, oops. Here it is. So here we have our bagel menu, or you can literally type whatever, whatever you want, and you can have your, your recipe there. But something else that I forgot that I wanted to show you was how to group elements. I'm just going to show you that real quick. So what if we want to move the text, but then look what happened. If I just move the word menu, all the elements are now going to be uh, separated. Well, all you have to do is to click and drag hover the elements that you want to group. And once you release, you will see that they all are uh, surrounded by this white bounding box. Now, all you're left to do is to um, make sure that we uh, go ahead and click on group. And then by doing so, you will see that now we finally have our lovely blue outline that let us know that we are now dealing with a group and we can just simply go ahead and move it together. 
We have just a few minutes left. I can see a questions regarding bleed. So the, my best advice for those of you who are, that's already a designer there, I can tell. Um, those of you that are worried about bleed or maybe they're dealing with a printer that is asking for bleed. Well, in that case, the best way to go whenever you start your project is to um, make sure I'm just going to go back because as you can see, my project is already saved. So I have no worries about that. I can just go back into the home page and I'm going to show you whenever you're going to work with bleed. The best option is to start by creating an image with a, a custom size so you can go ahead and click uh, and select a custom size and then you can select whatever size is the final and then here you can add a bleed so what you're going to do you're going to stretch the size of your because that's you know basically um you can add as much as you want let's say that we're working in a millimeter so let's say that if is um 200 millimeters so 20 centimeter you will probably uh, go ahead and uh, put a 203 and so on for the height so let's say that is a 150 i will put 153 just because three millimeters is uh, the standard uh, used for bleed and if you don't know what is bleed i'm just going to try to be super quick while i explain it once we also got back into um main project here which is ready to be edited again in our recent so a bleed is a look at my fleshy <laughs> notebook here a bleed allow us to create images and background because when we print or when we sent our artwork to print uh, it usually prints on white paper that's the standard way of printing unless you're going with specific paper and by enlarging your size so let's say that we create this three millimeter bleed and we cover it with the color background, we allow the printer to have a margin of error. So when they crop our menu and when they cut it, even if they cut it a little bit, um, not straight, not perfectly straight, and there is a little mistake when the, the flyer is cut, we'll make sure that we allow the continuity of the color. So that will mask and that will prevent any mistake to show. So uh, if you're worried about bleed or if you're concerned or if your printer allows you or, or asks you to add bleed, make sure to extend uh, the size of your project by using a custom shape. Fantastic. So um, you pretty much know the drill here. You can just click on it and then edit text. Here we can choose. I think I had a little uh, menu noted down of some uh, uh, bagel options and some, I think I had um, um, some cake options. So let me go ahead and make sure that I select the right text. And then here I command A to select it all and then paste, paste it there. It looks like I went a little bit over the top uh, with the amount of lines that I had here. Here we go. I think that that was enough. And otherwise, you can just simply go ahead and choose. Now, what happened there, and I'm, I'm loving that that's the beauty of the live, is that every single um, element in the previous menu was, I believe, one line and then a spacing. So what you want to make sure if you're using, uh, if you're trying to use the same uh, layout and if you really like the way that the other project was laid out, I would strongly recommend to try and use the same line and the same amount of text. If not, that's absolutely fine because you can always resize it just like so. So let's say that that's our bagel and then you can also remove any other text that you don't want. So if you just want to stick to something like that and maybe just here have something that says, um, just ask for delivery. Oops. I really can't spell. <laughs> now you know that I'm not joking when I say it. Um, you can simply do so and then just go ahead and implement the text uh, as you've done for the um, for before for the for the food. We can do the same by adding more feature for our prices. So here I'm just going to go ahead and add more prices and again that can be absolutely whatever you want it doesn't have to be um, the same I'm just going to copy a couple and then I'm going to make sure that I resize it and they are now respectively respectively under the text and again you can keep go ahead and moving the text and the prices until they fit uh, inside your project and you can also add new text if that's something that you wish to do. 
Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it there for a second. In this case, this menu looked like had two different texts, but you can absolutely go back and then use the text and add a custom text if you wish to add a, a custom text and then uh, input your menu in the way that you prefer. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that real quick and show you in order to download your project when you're done, click on JPEG and then click on start download in order to download it in your machine and then they will be ready to be sent to the printer fantastic unfortunately i really don't know where time goes when we're together because it's already time to say goodbye make sure to stick around there is so much more fun here this friday at adobe live as usual we're busy be creating and making wonderful graphics do not forget to check out uh, the youtube channel for uh, adobe credit cloud express a lot of inspiration go ahead and subscribe and i will see you next week with a brand new show called how to i look forward to see you there but for now go and grab a glass of water and come back here at adobe live for more fun Thank you so much, everybody. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.